छोटे मिया चिंता मत कर 1100 करोड़ के अंसों में वर्ल्ड वाइड हंड्रेड परसेंट We often on this channel have spoken about getting into movies with zero expectations and when a film even slightly impresses us how we give it the benefit of the doubt how our bar was so low that even if we were given moments of joy we would give a movie and its faults a pass when a movie does not even pass that litmus test then you know there is something to worry about Bade Mia Chote Mia has been described by me as a marketing mess a film that looks more like a project than an action movie where every artist is putting their heart and soul into it People told me that the real story will unfold when you go into the theater. People told me that I should have faith in Ali Abbas Zafar, but every single skepticism that I had became a reality as I sat through this film, which should deservedly be criticized for its end product. It's a shame that a movie that invests so heavily on scale, budget and marketing, posing it to be the next big thing in the action genre, lacks so heavily in each department. It has slapstick humor, random explosions posed as action choreography, and a plot with so much potential potential but executed in such a stale cookie cutter manner you wonder how the makers did not identify this to completely miss the mark the movie focuses on two court martial soldiers freddy and rocky played by akshay and tiger who are reassigned in the department to protect the country from kabir played by prithviraj sukumaran the antagonist with a troubled history with the nation has got hold of technology that will make india vulnerable against countries like pakistan and china how the duo curtail this massive threat with the help of supporting characters that deserve their own matlab kuch bhi episode forms the basic premise of this film this movie is frustrating in so many accounts because i could identify the potential of this to be a good buddy cop movie you know of the dynamics we have seen in films like rush hour lethal weapon or most recently in one of my favorite hollywood films the nice guys these movies present the main characters in missions where the stakes are extremely high but the circumstances they find themselves in are absolutely hilarious doubling down on the banter shared between the characters that extract several laugh out loud moments this could have been bade mia chote mia a mentor student relationship that really hones in on the duo pulling each other's legs and being a ride or die homies but this film is so confused on what it wants to be that it never does anything with conviction neither the humor nor the action and even the nationalistic sentiment it's so thanda that i was trying to get invested and cheer but found myself forcing that feeling through most of the running time i really have to criticize ali abbas safar regarding this film because he really posed this to be this action like never seen before of things that have never been attempted in bollywood but the movie especially in its action is such an amalgamation of randomness it has such a distorted and incoherent quality to its choreography and the way that it's captured you'll actually feel dizzy through several portions just a real location with consecutive explosions and carrier helicopters does not mean that the audience will be blown away one must be invested in the execution of it all it seriously has the quality of a random tiktok video in several editing portions the biggest crime of badi mia chote mia while being posed as a mass action film is that it probably has the most underwhelming score that assists the visuals julius pacium and his score is so devoid of any impact you don't feel anything in the character introductions of the movie मूवी शुरू हो जाती है हीरोज की एंट्री भी हो जाती है और तुम्हें क्लैप करने का मन भी नहीं होता इट जस्ट मूव ऑन फास्ट पेस फिल्म बनाने के चक्कर में मोमेंट्स आर सो फ्लीटिंग यू वंडर वाई द मेकर्स वर इन सच अ रश द मोस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग क्वालिटी ऑल्सो इज दैट वाइल द मूवी प्राइज इज सेल्फ ऑन बींग शॉर्ट इन रियल लोकेशन द स्निपिट इन शैंगाई एंड शिकोटाबाद सीम स्ट्रेट आउट ऑफ अ क्यूरेटेड मूवी सेट वर्स इज अ रियल लोकेशन दिस इज इवन ट्रू फॉर द लंडन पोर्शन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ इट बींग शॉर्ट इन द वॉटर लू टनल देर इज supposed scale but you can see the controlled set like nature of most of the frames that give it an artificial quality the film has several matlab kuch bhi moments manushi chiller plays a straight at soldier with the most wooden dialogue delivery going all the way to shanghai for intel only to be told kuch bada hone wala hai manushi goes are bhai kuch to bata de the dude says that's all i know itna dur flight leke aayi hai and you're telling him kuch bada hone wala hai I cried laughing. It's after a long time I've seen Prithviraj in a role and got so bored of his speeches. 
every time Prithviraj goes into a rant describing what pralay means and the writing lacks the intimidation a film of this scale deserves from its villain. It's also a shame that the film presents him through most of the portions with his mask because you could see the evil in his eyes when the ultimate reveal happens. They also muffle his voice for it to sound exceedingly baritone like Bane, but it's just a cheap rip off of the same. One hilarious moment is when Manushi wants to know why the two soldiers were court martialed and Ronit Roy tells her a random story of their successful mission. Manushi goes, "But why did they get court martialed?" Ronit says, "Wo kahani kisi aur time." Hey, you just went on a tangent story randomly. Who is writing this? It was hilarious to me that while Akshay is 56 and Ronit is only 58, Akshay and Tiger constantly call him Bodau. You know what's crazy? Tiger is actually having more fun in this film than Akshay. At least he was nimble, slightly more light-hearted and fun with his delivery. But I was shocked to see the wooden nature of Akshay's performance. So stale, so forgettable. You wonder where the playful energy of the man vanished as he goes through this film mostly on autopilot. The film is filled with PJs and even the mass dialogues lack punch. Akshay going India tum jaise logo pe biryani waste nahi karegi or Tiger looking at Prithviraj and saying पक्का वर्जन और साइको है अक्षय पोजिंग एज राजू इज दी ओनली लाफ दैट वॉज जेन्यूनली जनरेटेड इन माई थिएटर The film often takes the shape of being so bad that you just have to laugh at its absurdity. None of the action choreography is designed with the score. The concept of presenting the action with the original Bade Mia Chote Mia score is so interesting, but the execution is so lackluster that you wanted to see Govinda and Amita back again versus whatever this was. Alaya F has to go down as one of the most irritating characters in an action film in a long time. She keeps on staring at Tiger's abs, says boomer dialogues like hashtag #nerd is life. and walks around with a taser spilling out random technical jargon that gives you a headache vault kaise khulega otp se says tiger and you wonder how a dim-witted individual like him became an indian soldier he says ye aadmi hai ya dandruff jata hi nahi hai to prithviraj and this is only a glimpse of the absurd lines dispersed throughout the film the concept of the movie of bio engineered humanoids used for warfare is so interesting but prithviraj's motivation to go full thanos against india is so half baked you don't feel an emotional connection to any of the trauma he has endured if you were already wondering about what could be the back story of prithviraj in this film think of the one thing that is the most generic and predictable thing and that is precisely his origin story i can't even articulate what sonakshi sena was doing in this film she was apparently the romantic interest of akshay kumar there's some hints of romantic sparks with prithviraj and you wonder ye मूवी में कर क्या रही है आई कुड नॉट बिलीव सम मोस्ट रैंडम कॉस्ट्यूम अक्षय एंड टाइगर वर वेरिंग वाइल ऑन द मिशन स्पोर्टिंग एविएटर्स एंड टनल्स बनियान्स लाइक टाइगर वर स्टिल ऑन द सेट्स ऑफ बागी इट्स ऑल टू फनी वेन अक्षय हिट्स अ ह्यूमन ऑइड ही रिएक्ट्स Asli steel and the only thing left in this film was Akshay to transition into a Kajaria ad that's all that was left honestly the film deserves to be called out for its mediocrity it's a shame that a project so wildly anticipated is this poor even pooja won't help at this point and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the bade mia chote mia movie if you can call it that please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching